think so. That's good. What's going in nose? <laughs> Don't know. Don't know yet. Could be anything. Tomatoes, peppers. I don't know. It just gives me more, you know, growing space. This is gonna be all filled in and. I'm they just hoping. need a little bit of amending, huh? Yeah. Zucchini, maybe, who knows? So, as you saw, Scott cut the big blue barrel in half for me so that I could use the two halves to plant in. So now we're taking my big cart and uh, we filled it, well we halfway filled it with compost which is where I am right now way over there grabbing the pitchfork and now Scott is taking the dirt that we got down beside the driveway that we found that was all composted dirt from leaves and years and years of just being built up down there under the trees and he grabbed some of that and brought it up. So now we're mixing it in together to make a nice mixture of dirt to fill up my blue barrels with. And we'll also do that for the rest of the beds that are in the garden to top them off and give them a fresh uh, bunch of dirt and just good stuff for the plants to grow in. I plan on doing a ton of canning this year and I have a greenhouse full of plants. I have started a lot of tomato, pepper, uh, zucchini, all kinds of stuff to get ready to can hopefully this fall, even summer, uh, and to get ready for the winter time. We were challenged by Rich and Holly over at the Old Swedes Farm and Annette at the Cow Emporium to do a $50 February challenge and we're going to try to do that where we only spend $50 on groceries for the month of February. So getting all these beds ready to plant and hopefully grow some awesome food for us that we can put together and make some meals will help us for that challenge as well. Done. Happy, happy? Yeah. For today. Finding treasures in there. Piece of. Hand turd, maybe. That's a piece of charcoal. Oh. That's going in there. Tell us a little bit where this water comes from, shall we? This is uh, my rain catchment water. So it comes right out when it rains. It comes right off the shed into the gutter and right into our big old... And bed. it works good. Show them how good it works. Great. Not a lot of pressure, but it gets the job done. But it's good enough for water in your garden. Yep. I just need a longer hose. We'll play follow the hose. Follow the hose right out around the corner. And if you look, you can see the solar panels and just underneath them is a black water catchment barrel. We catch all the water from our shed roof and it goes into that 55 gallon drum. And it just gravity feeds so we don't have to run our water pump. And the plants like this better than the well water. They like Rainwater. Yeah, I think they like rainwater better, too. Definitely. The thing we need to do now is get a longer hose. Yeah, we need a longer hose. And those are potatoes, right? Yep, they're red potatoes. How many potatoes in each bag? Uh, two. Two in each. So there'll be two potato plants in each one of those. Yep. Really, probably should have only done one, but... It'll be. And what she's done here, you guys have never seen this done before. I don't know if you have. It's about four inches of 
about four inches of dirt, yep. plant a couple of uh, potatoes that have started to sprout in each one. And as they come up, you just keep adding more soil to them. Just keep and eventually you end up with a whole bag full of potatoes. Yep, you just wanna keep the potato covered so that it doesn't get burned by the sun or anything like that. So it works very well in these bags. I, I did it. Yeah, and these grow bags aren't that expensive. There's several different kinds of them. These I got off Amazon. If I think of it, I'll put a link down in the description. I have some of the big felt ones that we use too. The dreaded blue container drums, wash tubs, anything we can grow in, we do. Yep. That's right. All, Garlic's doing really good over there. It's all reclaimed wood. So in this food challenge, we are not to purchase any more than $50 worth of food. So we need to gather enough to keep us going for the month of February and not just live off ramen noodles. We want to have actual good meals. We have extended on to our garden, made it a f several feet bigger and are adding these giant grow bags to add more food and our CBD plants to them to help us gather up more food to preserve and be more self-sufficient for the winter. Here we go. All done. So if you're interested, follow along as we harvest and preserve and show you how we do it here on our off-grid property in Maine. I will also add a list down in the description of the other channels that will be joining in this challenge as well so you can check them out.